you want to do a fast flush test. What is a fast flush test? So as your uh, blood pressure is appearing here, you're going to find this pigtail that's connected to the patient and you're going to quickly pull, pull on it so it flushes the system and you're going to see this in a second. So imagine this is the blood pressure and I do this. This is the fast flush test, right? So basically I'm delivering a uh, quick uh, normal saline to the patient and then I'm looking at the oscillations, like what happens uh, once uh, the uh, waveform returns. So one more time, what you're gonna do is, uh, once you connected it, you're gonna find your right pigtail or the push button, and you're gonna quickly snap pull it like this, right? And you see, you see that here. So again, right, blood pressure is going, blood pressure is going, right? And then I wanna do a fast flush test, and I quickly pull the pigtail right there. Right? And then I'm going to show you on my iPad what you're looking for. So what you're looking for is as follows. Right? This is called the square wave test. Why this is called a square wave? Because you're creating the square. If the, if the system is properly dampened, means that the, the fluid is cor correctly pressurized to 300 millimeters of mercury and you did everything right, you should have between 1.5 to 2 oscillations. So it means it, it goes up and down and then it goes back to the arterial waveform. So this means that your system is accurately set up. Now, if you over damped, right, uh, means falsely low. So usually you will see your square test and you don't see those two bounces. You will see it goes into this waveform that's missing the uh, dichrotic notch. Dichrotic notch is usually the closure of the aortic valve. So it's absent on this diagram. So what can be the causes? Common causes could be, uh, they tell you, right? They have extra tubing, there may be air bubbles, uh, there may be blood clots in the tubing, right? So those things can cause over damping uh, or falsely low blood pressure. What you're mainly looking for, uh, it's not over damped, you know, the, the wording. What you're looking for is when you snap the square test, you're looking at 1.5 to 2 oscillations. If they don't happen and you see, you're seeing this, then you check if you have extra tubing, if there's air bubbles or anything like that. Something else can also happen. They call this underdamped. So your blood pressure is falsely highly elevated. So what that means is that when I snap flush it, you'll see way more than two oscillations. So it tells you greater than two oscillations right here. And what you see is additional artifact and spikes. And this is, right, this can be also secondary to uh, inappropriate tubing. You may be using a tubing that's not rigid. Uh, you may not have uh, appropriately uh, flushed everything. You maybe have air bubbles, right? So uh, both over damped and under damped are inappropriate uh, responses. What you're looking for is normal, uh, right, one, 0.5 to 2 oscillations. I'm going to add additional video where I do this uh, on a patient who has an arterial line and you'll see how a square waveform test looks like. Ideally you want to print it. So what I usually do is if I'm, if I'm transducing a pressure, right, I'm here on the monitor. So I'm over here, right, and I have the blood pressure going and I'm about to do a square test. I just click print, right, as my print is coming out, right, what I do is I come over here and I do a, I do a square test, right. And you will see how it looks right right there so I stop the print right and what you see right over here is when I when I perform the square test I, I, I pulled on this tab right here right and flush the system and we said a normal uh, square uh, test is 1.5 to 2 oscillation so up and down and then it goes back to uh, arterial waveform I'll show you a strip uh, on an edit video how this all looks like. All right guys, so this patient is on arterial line, right? So invasive uh, monitoring, he has a radial A-line. So you see here, right, we're having the dichrotic notch. His VP is currently 122 over 51, 75 on the map, right? And here uh, we got the non-invasive cuff going. I'm gonna show you how to do a fast flush test and you, do, you need that to know if you properly damped. And the way you do this, you basically find the pigtail or, or uh, two press buttons on the transducer, you quickly flush it and you let go, right? So you're basically flushing his A-line with saline. And what you should see is oscillation, like movement up and down. Two oscillations are good. So what I usually do is I click I click print, and then I'm gonna come to the patient, right? You can't film this. So I'm gonna just uh, uh, press on his thing, right? So you see, right, right here was the fast flush test, right? And as we're printing it, right, we're gonna see, right, uh, when we, we actually, hit it right so now it came out I'm gonna click stop so here focus on this line right here right so 
we perform the first flush test, they only see right two oscillations right here. So we are properly damped. Uh, uh, what happens if you are uh, over damped? Over damped, you probably have a clot in the line. Your waveform looks like this. You lose the dichroic notch, right? So your waveform looks like this. It looks at the chronic notch, usually a clot uh, in the line or maybe air bubble. And if you are under damped, right, you basically have elevated blood pressure, false elevated blood pressure, and you're gonna see a lot of these spiky lines like these, but like it'll be like seven of them like that. And that usually indicates that the system is uh, under damped. So over damped means clot uh, or uh, air bubble looks like this. Under damped, a lot of oscillations like that, right? Uh, bad. So I'm gonna do it one more time so you can see. Fast flush, right? You see two oscillations right here, so we're perfectly good. Uh, we are properly damped. 